respected senior members amongst august audience dear friends and colleagues greetings of the day the most important step of pcnl is making a short straight excess track through a fornix into the pelvic elicial system let us discuss today the three techniques of making pcnl excess our index case is a patient with a stone in the renal pelvis and because 80% of us do prone pcnl our patient is also lying prone position now let us start understanding the pcnl excess now if this is our supine patient please pay attention to the excess of the kidneys and when the same patient is turned prone you can very well see that the axis of the kidney is 30 degree tilted towards the coronal uh, to the coronal plane so this is the tilt of the kidney which we are seeing when the patient is lying prone in front of us and these are our targets these are our targets where we have to make a puncture this is the posterior calyx this is the anterior calyx through which we have to enter the pelvic elicial system to remove this renal pelvic stone once you have identified your target you should see the target straight on its face and therefore you should position the siam with 30 degree tilt towards you it means the image intensifier should hit your head and the x ray tube should move away from you so that your genitals are also protected your fertility is maintained when you make a puncture in this direction with the siam tilted 30 degree towards you you are likely to make a entry through the convex border of the kidney while if you make the siam in 0 degree and try to make a puncture you are likely to make puncture through this portion of the renal parenchyma and this much migration of your renal excess of 1 to 2 cm from medial to lateral aspect is going to reduce the amount of bleeding which is going to take place because we know when the renal artery enters into the pelvis into the uh, kidney it divides into a anterior branch and posterior branch these branches go on dividing further they fan out on the anterior and posterior surface of the renal pelvis and then they go into branching and ultimately at this level say about 1 to 2 cm medial to the convex border they make an arc which is called arcuate arteries from arcuate arteries there are vessels which are originating vertically like this going up to the renal cortex up to the convex border so if you make a puncture in this direction you are likely to not injure the renal uh, larger vessels while if you make a puncture in the middle of the renal parenchyma in this area you are likely to injure the arcuate arteries and create more damage therefore you should try to make your puncture through the broadal white line through the convex border of the kidney not through the middle of the renal parenchyma so you have positioned the siam in this way with the 30 degree tilt now what do you see with siam one exposure of siam is like seeing the world only with one eye one eye is not sufficient it is like taking a picture with a camera and camera doesn't show everything camera only gives you or one eye it gives you or one view of the siam gives you only the length and breadth it does not give you exact depth perception what i am saying is clear by this picture taken with the camera if you are standing here and taking this picture this moon appears to be in the cart you cannot experience the distance between the moon and the cart if you have to identify this distance if you have to see the third dimension you will have to move 5 feet on this side or to the other side to see the distance between these two and therefore we are seeing every object with two eyes and then we are able to see the three dimensional view 
so once you have a cm intensifier positioned like this cm image like this whatever needle tip comes on to this needle uh, whatever a uh, needle tip comes on to this line will be shown as if it has reached at the target your needle may be at the skin surface your needle may be exactly at the target or your needle may be much deeper to the target but all these three needles will be seen in this view as if you have reached at the target now to see the distance since we don't have two c arms now we will have to shift this one eye or one c arm to the like a second eye we will have to shift it from 30 degree to 0 degree and now once you shift from 30 to 0 degree whatever needle tip comes on this line will be seen as if it has reached to the target and this is the needle which will be seen on the target whether the cm is in 30 degree or the cm is at 0 degree and if this needle is seen at the target in both then we are at the target but once you tilt from 30 to 0 degree i will repeat you shift from 30 to 0 degree and your needle tip which was seen at the target in 30 degree if this needle tip moves lateral to the target you are superficial and vice versa if your needle tip which was seen at the th target in 30 degree but once you have moved your cm from 30 to 0 and it moves medial to the target in the next image then this is a deep needle has gone too deep you will have to come out and make a superficial puncture this is the crux of pcnl excess now what are the techniques to enter into the pelvic elicial system there are three techniques which are popular bullseye technique triangulation technique and gradual descent technique which we will discuss one by one in bullseye technique you can position the cm at 0 degree this will be the target which will be seen you can make a needle puncture from here go vertically down keeping the needle tip and needle hub in the same straight line go deep 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 you may be superficial you may be at the target you may even cross the target but your needle will be seen at the target continuously so this is bullseye 0 degree puncture when you position the cm at 30 degree now you are not making an entry from here you are making an entry from here but making keeping your needle tip needle hub in the same straight line superimposed over each other you are not seeing the full length of the needle and the needle is going deep 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 you will certainly at one particular time you will hit the bullseye you will reach at the target so whether you are having a bullseye 0 degree bullseye 30 degree or any degree and if you are able to maintain the needle tip needle hub everything in the same straight line as is seen in this particular video then you are maintaining your needle in the same straight line and at one particular moment you will definitely hit the target you will reach into this pelvic elicial system this is called bulls eye technique but as you saw the hands are getting exposed because your hands are coming on the way in the same x ray beam image <clears throat> so bullseye technique the track which we make if the cm is at 0 degree and you make a track like this you are entering or your one particular segment of your track from skin up to the calyx is vertical is at 90 degree now you have to go a little more deep to reach up to the renal to the pelvic stone so you will have to turn your amplard sheath and the nephroscope towards this in line with this uh, infundibulum to reach up to this and when you turn like this you will create some fulcrum effect and injury at the renal parenchyma level as you see this is your track at 0 degree which you have made and now once you are turning your amplard sheath to come in alignment and take entry into the renal pelvis 
you may tear the renal parenchyma and there will be some bleeding not only that when you are making a puncture like this you can imagine the kidney lying down like this and you are making a puncture in this area you are likely to hit the arcuate vessels in depth and you are very close proximity to the big vessels and there are going to be more chances of bleeding so bullseye technique is a easy technique it's a sure shot technique only thing you have to maintain your needle tip needle hub everything in the same straight line go deep 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 you will certainly reach up to the target these are medial punctures far away from the colon so colonic injuries are less common when you make the posterior calicial okay that uh, your guide wire will go in easily but if you puncture the anterior calyx in this uh, bullseye zero degree then your guide wire may hit the opposite wall only hydrophilic terumo guide wire may find its path otherwise it will be difficult and uh, guide wire placement will be very difficult in these cases so the disadvantages of bullseye puncture are these are medial punctures at a distance from brodel's line so more chances of bleeding and surgeon's hands are getting exposed guide wire placement may be difficult maybe renal parenchyma will get torn when you tilt the amplar uh, sheath and when you are going with a angled track it is a not straight access if you are going with the angled track your entry and mobility within the pelvic elicial system will be restricted coming to the triangulation technique <clears throat> this is nothing but a calculated bullseye technique in this you position the siam at 0 degree and mark the target on the skin as a now tilt your siam to 30 degree and mark the target at b now you have this distance you can measure a and b in this bargain when you are doing this marking you have actually created a right angle triangle on the skin surface on the patient's body if you see it with the trigonometry you have created a 90 degree angle over here and when you have shifted the siam from 0 to 30 degree the angle created at angle c is 30 degree obviously this angle will become 60 degree so you have created a right angle triangle 90 30 60 angle and you know one arm of this triangle which is in front of you which you know the distance between a and b so now it is very easy to calculate with the pythagoras theorem the length of ac and length of bc these two arms can very well be calculated and as this calculations of pythagoras triangle they tell us in a 90 30 60 degree angle arm ac <coughs> means the distance of the target from the skin at the 0 degree if you start will be 1.73 times the distance between a and b because this arm is 1.73 times the arm ab while if you start your needle puncture at 30 degree mark from point b and go in a bullseye fashion straight up to the point c this distance will be twice the distance of ab so if your distance between a and b was 3 cm now you have started your puncture at point b and you puncture up to 6 cm depth you will reach at the target so this triangulation technique is bullseye technique where you exactly know at what depth you will hit the target coming to the third technique this is the triangulation technique where you mark a point a mark point b measure the distance between these two and then you can start at point a the this Uh, if you measure ab 1.73 times ab you will reach the target if you try to come from this angle it will be twice the length of ab and you will reach the target this is triangulation technique lastly let us discuss gradual descent technique in this technique the tilt of siam is always 30 degrees but we don't start the needle puncher at the target as you see on this skin don't start your needle puncher here place your needle 3 to 4 cm lateral like this 
if it was a bull's eye puncture i would have placed the needle here but once i have placed the needle tip on the skin 3 to 4 cm lateral my needle will be seen like this and from here now i will be making a journey gradually descending down up to this target calyx like a aeroplane lands on to the runway i will be entering through the convex border of the kidney in alignment with the infundibulum and i will be able to reach the renal pelvis easily for this renal pelvic stone in the same alignment so gradual descent technique will take you the advantages will be you will be descending down through the convex uh, through the concavity of the calyx you will be entering through the convex border of the kidney from the brodel's white line and the bleeding complications will be less but these are the lateral punctures from the skin they have easy guide wire placement because it is in the same alignment there is minimal or no bleeding so you are at peace and there is a better stone clearance it offers excellent mobility within pelvic ischial system because you are in the same alignment and there is only disadvantage is there is a learning curve because if you start descending from here and if you go this way or if you go this way you will not hit the target you have to know exact angle of entry so that you are reaching at the target so there is a learning curve it is not a sure shot technique you have to learn this technique and once you are so lateral you are closer to the colon which sometimes at the lateral border of the kidney so the colonic injuries may happen and you have to be extra careful so we have three types of access into the pelvic ischial system this is 0 degree bull's eye you are entering through this portion of the renal parenchyma this is 30 degree bull's eye a little more lateral you are making an entry into the pel uh, renal pelvis and maybe you are in an uh, alignment with the infundibulum and lastly gradual descent technique you are not coming from 0 degree bull's eye you are not coming from 30 degree bull's eye you are starting 3 to 4 cm lateral and then entering the convex border of the kidney through the brodel's line and entering in alignment with the infundibulum reaching it up to the renal pelvis so these are the three ways to enter a calyx bull's eye 0 degree bull's eye 30 degree and a gradual descent technique take home messages will be pelvic ischial access should be through convex border of the kidney cm should initially be positioned with 30 degrees tilt don't depend only on monoplanar view of cm it will not give you the depth perception you have to be very accurate scientifically correct so you should watch the movement of your needle and you should reach to the exact depth in the same angle so you should so you should see the target with the two planes <coughs> gradual descent technique provides an ideal access if you can learn this technique you will be very comfortable thank you very much for your kind attention and listening to me so patiently i take this opportunity to invite you on october 1st and 2nd 2022 at new delhi to participate in 9th international live operative workshop our previous eight workshops have been very successful in teaching and training the youngsters the technique the basic and advanced techniques of making initial puncture and to be successful in pcnl so you are invited to participate in percon <coughs> 2022 this is the ninth international live operative workshop thank you very much for listening to me thank you